Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're helping out Petrovenge, the babe of the reef, second to just Marasov. She has a few more quests for us to complete on Venus and on Mars, so I thought that today we'd wrap those up so we can move on to some more exciting quests that'll unlock afterwards. If you go on to enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Destiny. And if we can get this video to a thousand likes today, then I'll release the next episode tomorrow. So let's try and hit a thousand likes. Now the quest from Petra is the lengthy Taken War questline, which we've partially completed in previous episodes of the series. But what's left now is the Taken War on Venus and the Taken War on Mars. On Venus, we need to kill two Taken champions and claim the battle wreckage. So on Venus, I made my way to the Citadel to await the Taken invasion. It didn't take too long before they spawned in and we needed to clear some lieutenants. And then of course, kill the boss. Dude, this guy's got a bunch of health. Oh, come on, goblin, don't do me like this. Dude, is this guy like regenerating health? That guy just hit him with a shotgun, point blank. Alright, that's the final lieutenant, I think. Yep, there's the boss. Uh, you didn't see that? You didn't see me miss that easy shot. Dude, I love heavy synth. Definitely should have had Nighthawk on, but uh, we got him. We got him. After clearing the Taken from the Citadel, we needed to clear just one more area on Venus to complete the quest, so we headed to the Ishtar Cliffs just in time for another Taken Corruption event to begin and defeated the boss there in no time. Almost forgot Nighthawk. Taken spam. Oof. Glad that's over. Back at the reef, we checked in with Petra, who gave us our next quest step without as much as a thank you. But before we left the reef, I had Master Ives decrypt us some blues in the hope of some stroke of good luck. Alright, Ives. I've much about don't make these anymore. Fuck you, Ives. Oh, wait. Master Ives, I've got two more for you. Oh, fuck you, man. But now it was time to go to Mars to knock out the Taken there. We just waited in the Barrens, which is the area you drop in on, which I think is the easiest place to solo the event. Now, some of you have asked me how to do these events solo or have told me you can't beat them solo, so I'll do my best to show you what I do and maybe it'll work for you. The first thing I do when I land is pop a heavy synth before I wait around for the Taken to spawn. This means by the time I'm hitting the boss, the cooldown will likely have refreshed, meaning I can pop another heavy during the boss DPS moment of the event. Killing the lieutenants is fairly straightforward, I recommend just using your sparrow to navigate around quickly so you can save yourself some time to kill the boss. And then at the boss, just burn your heavy, preferably Galahorn, Sleeper, or something else you rely on for DPS, then use your heavy synth, burn through it again on the boss, and then use your super and whatever else you have like a sniper or a fusion rifle. I wouldn't necessarily recommend a shotgun because boss slams combined with other enemies surrounding the boss will make it hard so just keep a safe distance. And that's all there really is to it. It's not necessarily easy and I understand the struggle to solo it but it can be done as I've mostly soloed this entire quest. And to finish off this quest on Mars, I left the area, came back and fought the same taken boss again because this area is so easy to solo. I 
don't think that burning bosses with G-Horn will ever get old. I really don't. Well, we gotta back off here. It's getting a little chaotic. Let's hit him with a Nighthawk and then we'll pop at him. Oh shit. And there it is. Just like that. Back at the reef, we turned in our quest progress to Petra, and it leveled us up to Queen's Wrath rank 1, giving us access to her bounties and some of her rewards. I figured we'd pick up her bounties and at least complete the weekly one to track down her target, and soon enough, farming her bounties to level her up will become key in a later episode, and you'll see why. But before we do that, let's stop back at the tower to open a Vanguard package from Cade. Anytime I notice that I level up my faction or my Vanguard rep, I immediately return to the tower to open it because I'm just addicted to trying to get a god rolled weapon from the Vanguard. But we got another rocket launcher with a literal identical roll to my something wicked, and we got a pretty good looking ship. But I'm definitely disappointed I didn't get something a little bit better. Petra's target was on the Shattered Coast on Venus, who we promptly gave a good ass kicking. Dude, there's so much taken action going on right here. We've had to solo pretty much every single Taken boss so far. I think we've only had help on one of them. Maybe two of them. But yeah, like, <laughs> I end up soloing these. I've had to solo these almost every single time. For the entire Taken War quest line. You just gotta be quick. You gotta kill them lieutenants quick. And then you just gotta make sure... You got enough heavy. Heavy is the key. <laughs> Galahorn is key, honestly. I still think G-Horn is probably your best uh, all-around option. Maybe Sleeper does better DPS, but I think G-Horn is just good enough. You can be kind of careless with your shots, and uh, yeah, it's great. Like I said, these Petra quests are going to be very important in the future, but for now, uh, we'll probably just call it a day. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, if we hit 1,000 likes today on this video, I'll release the next episode tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time.